people always think that business continuity is so important for most of companies. Venturing instant VM recovery can immediately restore any size VM from any restore point to all regional host or to a different host in one minute. It can help you minimize disruption and downtime of production workloads. Besides, you can quickly verify the backup data availability by instantly recovering the VM to an isolated area. Make sure when real disaster occurs, all the VMs can be recovered and the data inside is not lost or damaged. Our instant recovery principle is just the same as Vim instant recovery for VMware. I will show you our instant recovery feature. Uh, first step, uh, find the target, find the target re restore point of the target VM uh, to do the instant recovery job. And then choose the target host to run the instant restore the VM. And here is the VM configurations. Uh, I have option to configure the restore the VM name. Uh, for example, I will rename this restore the VM and then choose to power on the VM after restoring. And here I will enable this feature. And here is the network, uh, say the restore, restore the VM's network. And in the last, I'll give this job a name, I type my name, and click OK. Now this instant recovery job is uh, created successfully. I can start this job manually. Uh, then go to the job details page and let's review the job process. Okay, now this instant recovery job has started. And uh, right now I can go to my uh, VMware environment. And uh, here, uh, this instant restore VM is already here. And uh, we can enter this VM. Okay, now I will type the username and the password of this VIM to access it. Okay, now let's check the files in this VIM. Uh, there are test, test one, test two, and test eight files. Uh, right now I wanna write some new data in this way. I will uh, create a new file, test3, and then enter some new data. When to back up. And the uh, quit. And now let's check the Data. Okay, the test three is a file is already here, and uh, the data I just wrote, oh, it has been saved successfully. So now I have wrote, wrote some new data in this instant restored VM. Next, I will show you our migration feature. Let's go back to the Venture Backup Web Console and go to the instant recovery job to start the migration job. Uh, first, choose the target host to run the migrator VIM. And here uh, I can configure the migrator VIM, uh, its name and its storage in the network. And here I will enable the, this feature to power on the VIM after restoring. And here is the transformation network. I click OK. Okay, now the migration job is created success successfully. We can go to the job details page uh, to review the progress of this backup job. And here uh, is a run log. And here is the basic info about this job, uh, job name, job status, and total size and model job type, and all the details, and create time, start time, and the processing rate and the creator and the progress and all the details I can see in the basic info page. 
And in the VAM list page, uh, all the VAMs included in this job are all showing you here. And I click this button, and I can see the details. And also the data size, transfer size, uh, return size, progress. Okay, now this backup, this migration job uh, is almost completed. Now we can go to my VMware environment uh, to check this when we, uh, if this VM is already here. Okay, now this uh, migrated VM is already here. And the migration job is completed successfully. And then we can uh, start this VM and enter this VM. Then type the username and the password of this VM. Now let's check the files in this VM. Okay, in both the old data like test, test one and test two, test A, and also the new data test three file is already here. Let's check the data in test three file. Okay, venture backup I just wrote in the instant restore VM is already here, which shows the migration job is completed successfully. All the data has been migrated to this VM. So that's all for our instant recovery feature.